Okay, we made it through security, through everything, checking in the bags. You try traveling with two kids and two crazy women and all this kite gear that I'm bringing. So we're on our way to Germany. Yep, you're right. We're going to Kühlungsborn and Warnemünde for some kite surfing. in the Baltic Sea guys. It was very cold. It was a lot windier than I thought. I was way over on the 10. My Liquid Force Havoc 10 2011 is a great kite. This was an amazing session. I have to all tell you the Baltic Sea tastes amazing. It's not like the Atlantic or anything. You can feel like you can drink it. And uh, I'm totally stoked right now because it is freezing cold. People are wearing like winter clothes and I'm out here kiting. We're just riding around enjoying this beautiful countryside. It's amazing here, I have to say. What a beautiful time, what a beautiful area. Definitely worth the trip for kite surfing and for other reasons. Great place to recover from hectic American business life. We went to Vanamunde today with the boat. We're going back on a bike. There's no wind, can't kite. But there's supposed to be some wind tomorrow, so looks like we might be lucky and get another session in. Hopefully like the first one. We're gonna have to travel a little bit because it's gonna be offshore. But if we go a little bit east on the coast, we should be able to get a side shore. Funny, again in the countryside, doesn't look like kite surfing at all. But check it out, right on the side of the road. Surf Center Bristro. We're gonna go and check it out. This looks very promising. Alright, so this place, believe it or not, is not too far from Warnemünde, which is the home of nine-time world champion Christina Böse which I just heard that she actually used to work here. So, so uh, another proof of the fact that this is a great location and uh, great writers come out of here. Place seems ideal. People seem to have a good vibe. 
shop seems cool. Everything here, you can come here and camp uh, on a really good day. This would be amazing, I think. I uh, feel bad. I'm, I wish I could hang out and wait for some wind. But we got lucky. We found an amazing guy. It's a local shaper. The boards look fantastic. They all have amazing flex. They have a, uh, a fiberglass edge and, and are very well constructed. One more thing I do want to say about these boards. They're all handmade, so they're unique. Uh, the price point is around 700 euros, 750 euros. Um, it's a little more pricey than a production board, but it's really not comparable because they're handmade. You should all check it out. It's called Anton, A-N-T-O-N dash kiteboards. .de. So getting back to Miami, the very first thing I wanted to do was ride that new board that I have from Anton Kiteboard and I have to say I went out, I got lucky today, it was windy right away after my arrival and the board delivered on its promise from the designer of being a great all-rounder and freestyle board and home in all sorts of conditions. We had 20 knot east winds onshore, we had uh, 3 foot waves, 4 foot bases, um, wonderful conditions for a test ride. I rode it uh, all the way down to 4th Street from 47th Street. The board is everything it was promised to be. It is flexible. It has a very nice pop. It handles waves extremely well as well. It carves beautifully. It's uh, light, sort of light. It's not super light I could, uh, uh, as a carbon board, but it is definitely up there with those boards. It is a versatile board and it's a lot of fun to ride. You should really enjoy it if you get to own one of these. Check it out, www.anton-kiteboard.de Kite Republic's verdict on the bullet from Anton Kiteboard, excellent. A plus on this one, just as I expected. Thank you Sven for a great board.